Hello there. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Is it spring yet? Oh, please tell me that it is. <laughs> My tulips are convinced that it's spring. They're popping up and happy, and I hope that they're right because I am so done with the cold. I don't know about you. So today, we're going to talk about a couple of commands that came out inside of AutoCAD 2009 a few years ago, but I want to make sure that you know about them. So the first one has to do with viewports. Here I have a situation where I have two viewports right with the same view in there, and I want to rotate one of the views. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select the viewport. Let's make a hot grip, right click, hit rotate. I want to go to rotate that. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to rotate the view too. Did not rotate the view. That is not what I want. So let's undo that. Great system variable that came out, like I said a few years ago, VP rotate SOS. And we're going to set this value to 1, which incidentally is the default. As soon as it came out, this became the default, which is good. Let's try rotating it again. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab this viewport, make a hot grip, right click, rotate. And now you will see that the view rotates with the viewport. Yay, I'm happy. That's what I expected to happen to begin with. That's the way it really should have worked from the beginning, if you ask me. All right, VP rotate assos, kind of a long system variable. Uh, you don't really need to remember it because, as I mentioned, this is the default behavior unless you want to go back to legacy behavior the way it was the first time I rotated where the view does not rotate. Okay, that was pretty short. Let's do one more. So here on my screen, I have a line or a polyline, like, and clearly it's going the wrong direction. The text is going the wrong direction, so unless I decide to stand on my head, I'm not going to be able to read it, right? So it's not fair. It doesn't look good. We're going to fix it. Great command that came out also a few years ago, reverse. That allows me just to go ahead and select the line, polyline, as you can see, or a spline or a helix and it reverses the direction of the object. So now my line type is going the right way, right? Easy enough. So those were two commands for you. Don't forget to try reverse. Instead of drawing it all over again, use the reverse command and VP rotate so a system variable, all right? Okay, hope you enjoyed that. It was great seeing you. If, if this counts as seeing you, I'll, I'll see you hopefully back here in two more weeks. Thanks so much for joining me.